So despite um, all these changes that we've made, um, I don't think we were particularly surprised that Samsung is still the number one brand. Um, it's been the top of our list for, the, for seven years in a row, and I think the fact that it survived at the top last year, when it had a pretty disastrous year after kind of exploding Note 7 phones, mm -hmm. it managed to stay at the top throughout that, so it's had a pretty good year in the last 12 months since then, so we weren't really surprised to find it at the top. Um, it's just got the size and scale um, across so many categories in the top 1,000 brands. It just gives us this kind of huge retail presence. Yeah. It seems like it can't do much wrong. And we even actually, like, again, did a bit of consolidating in that consumer electronics space, but still, no contest this year. It right. totally yeah. ran away with it. Exactly. And they've had um, they've had a kind of string of new good new products this year. Um, the Galaxy Note 8 brought in record profits in the last quarter of 2017. Um, They've got the kind of flashy new QLED TVs and also um, the new Gear Sport watch, which is kind of, uh, I think it indicates that Samsung is growing in the wearables market. Um, it's still, our data says it's still second to Apple in most Asia markets in the wearables category, but it is number one in Southeast Asia, so perhaps that's a sign that it's moving in that direction. Um, there have been a few kind of negative news stories, but they mostly concern um, leaders, kind of controversies around Samsung leaders who are, I guess, fairly, some been some high profile resignations, a few ongoing court cases, but um, the experts I spoke to said that it's just not, they're just not really registering with consumers. Um, they might be high profile in a business sense, but consumers mm -hmm. don't know who they are. It's, it's the product yeah. that is the only thing that matters. Um, so yeah, I think the other, the other thing the experts I spoke to about this said, they just said Samsung has really nailed consistent branding for years and years across all of their categories, but also all the different markets, and this really makes a difference. And it also, it's their it's their ability to be available in all of their stores. I think at the time they said somebody I spoke to said that in tier two and three cities in China, it's particularly important because customers still want to feel and kind of play with and try out new products. And some of Samsung's competitors, like Xiaomi and Vivo, um, don't necessarily always have that availability kind of on the spot. Uh, mm. Sometimes they're going for a kind of mystique Apple thing where they're not available, but Samsung's always available, and so you know that's one reason why it, it does so well. Yeah, hard um, to win when your products aren't on the shelf, but yeah, you know, fine if you want to draw a buzz. Et yeah, exactly. I'll so, just note that among the mobile-friendly brands, Samsung did not finish first. I will not say yet which okay. brand finished tops, but they didn't win in that category. Interesting. Okay.